<laughs> I just yeah. I might like divorce you now. <laughs> it was dripping, oozing. <laughs> um, that's when you slip in. Slip in what? Honestly, this is so good. Nothing for me to grab. <laughs> Hey everyone, James and Mark here with another video. Today we are going to be doing rose topoki. What in the world is rose topoki? It's super trendy and popular in Korea. All the social media, all the mukbangers, all the people, even restaurants are selling rose topoki. Rose topoki is kind of like original topoki with some tomato sauce, pasta sauce, and a lot of cream and cheese. Oh. So it's like the color is very rose. So like in America, that's been around for a little while, and I think it was called pink sauce, oh. if I remember correctly. Like, when I think of rosé, I think of this, like, bottle of wine of yeah. rosé, right? Yeah. Which we actually are going to be drinking for today's mukbang. We're drinking our Corte de Rosé wine. Mm. Mm. So this, I remember, we had this one before, and this is the one where it's a very interesting cork. Yeah, it's like a glass cork. It's a glass cork, and then you have to... Oh. 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 Oh, look at that. Let's get some olive oil onto our pan. This is the first time we had like a pink sauce. I think the first time I had something similar to this is when I got like Tour de Italy and my Alfredo touched the lasagna. <laughs> and then that little like combination is how I've had the pink sauce. Oh, okay, so we have, we have our minced garlic. Mm. We're gonna saute that. All right. And then you want, um, we have a half of a onion, sliced onion, so oh. add that in too. Okay. Now, when you saute garlic and onions together, it just, it smells like you know how to cook, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming you're just gonna get it until it's like, kind of like translucent. Yeah, we're gonna saute the um, onions down. Um, not fully cooked, but yeah, translucent. Nice. One thing I miss about eating out at um, Italian restaurants is when you get a, a salad, your pasta, or your soup, and then they bring like the largest pepper mill known to man, and then you're like, I want some pepper, and they're like, ur, 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 and all this pepper comes out. Like, I feel so, this is like nice, it does a trick. But it's just not as fun as that big giant, you know. I'm a size queen, so those ones are a lot better than these little ones, but it's okay. Well, back in college, like me and Kevin, he's one of our really close friends. We love black pepper on a lot on our food. And so when they do come with that big wooden like pepper meal, like we're like, you know, they say, oh, can you say when you're when when it's good, and we're like, oh no, we want more, we want more, but we felt so bad. <laughs> Cause they're like, are you? When is this guy gonna say stop? And they were like, oh, more. I wonder how big their forearms are. I'm curious now myself. Well, <laughs> Baskin Robin worker or the Italian restaurant Pepper Miller, who would win in a um, arm wrestling contest? I mean, sometimes I don't know if you guys can relate, but when you got that tub of ice cream that's been sitting in your freezer and you try decide to like try to scoop it like from. Just right from taking out, you gotta put in some like elbow grease to get some of that out. I think the other one, at least it's like, I feel like there's some momentum in it already. What the heck am I doing right now? <laughs> I don't even think that's how you do it. We have a medley of cherry, different kind of cherry tomatoes. Mm. So we're gonna, um, we kind of quartered them. So we have these, um, added our cherry tomatoes. They're medley, they're beautiful color. Yeah. You know? Like with the reds and the yellows. And I like this one, like the, um, multi-green red color. I don't even know what kind of tomatoes they are. But now, was this your intention on getting this before? Because I know you, when we were making our shopping list, you just said cherry tomatoes, but I did not expect this colorful one. No, when I saw at the market that they had this kind, I was like, let's just get it. Cook that down a little bit. Now the next step is going to be kind of like a shortcut. Mm. We're going to um, add the soup base oh. of a Korean ramen. Now you could use, you know, Shin, this is Shin Black. I mean, it's the same soup base. Uh, where is it? Now, what makes this rosé? Uh, well, the combination of a red sauce and some white sauce. Some kind of white. So what do you think the white part is? 
Uh, cream? We're gonna add milk and cream. Oh, milk and cream. Now is there a ratio of milk to cream that we're doing? Oh, uh, you could do one, one to one, or I kind of like to do a little bit more cream than milk. Okay, yeah. yeah. Make it more thick. Yeah, so maybe about a cup of milk. Now, if we did half and half, is half and half half milk, half cream? It is. So if we could have We could just on that, yeah. yeah. But use what you got. Ooh. Thick this is. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little bit more cream. Than okay, let's go ahead and pour the thick, heavy cream in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. This looks good already, huh? Yeah, I'm like thinking, do you even need the red sauce? Cause it's already, actually this is not rosé. This is like orange almost. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna add stuff that makes it red. Oh. So this is gochu chang. Mm. Now, how do they say it on Food Network? Uh, how do they say it gochu again? Gochu I Go, like. <laughs> gochu jang. Get some gochu jang. It drives me nuts. I mean, I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but I know I'm saying it better than the people on TV sometimes, just saying. They always call it like the Korean ketchup. Does that bother you? <laughs> you wanna get some gochujang? So a heaping, oh, heaping, heaping, heaping spoonful. It's like, are we cooking or are we doing like, uh, you know like how uh, back in the elementary school days and you had to like paint, but then maybe you didn't have all the paint. So you also had to like prep to make certain colors. Yeah. This is what it feels like we're doing right now. Getting all the prep ready. It's getting all the prep ready. Now with the gochujang, it's kind of thick, so. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I just. Yeah, I might I'll divorce you now. So the, I the, wanted a, I married a Korean authentic man and you ain't gonna get away with calling it gochujang. Now, this is going to make it Italian Korean fusion. So we have a jar of prego. Yeah. Uh, half or a little more than a half. Okay. So let's add this in. Ooh. Ooh. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. We're actually going to add a lot of cheese to this too. So it's gonna be creamy and cheesy and a little spicy. Now the prego that you got, I didn't see the label. Was it just like their standard, like, um, I got tomato, basil, garlic. Got it. I was gonna grab the fancier one, you know, but- The one that's in like the thinner bottle and you get like half. Yeah, but then I'm like, but you know, we don't need it for this, uh, yeah. you know, dish. So Prego is okay. Um, but just be happy that I didn't grab the ragu one. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with ragu? I don't know. People hate ragu. I mean, if right? I had to choose between the two, yeah. We have a friend, friend who's like, I could taste the difference. And then we tested it and she's like, no, this is ragu spaghetti. I hate it. She only eats prego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. The color, guys, is definitely... You got more rosé, huh? Yeah. Topoki. It's... Spicy and it's usually kind of sweet too, but we don't need to make it too sweet. Mm. But there needs to be a sweet element. You could add there. You could add a spoon full of sugar, or if you have some of this, um, I don't even know how to say it in English. Uh, Illegal saccharide, <laughs> Illegal saccharide, or corn syrup, rice syrup. Yeah, all that would work. Oh. Okay. Which aisle uh, would you find that at, like the Korean market? Is it where the sugar is or is it where the oils are? Is it's it like where, where the oils are, where the vinegar, like mm. the condiment section. Yeah. Look at that sauce. All right, so we'll go ahead and let this simmer a little bit, but okay. there's two things that we need to do that's going to complement the rosé topoki. Mm. We're going to air fry some cheese ball. <gasps> oh, we have them actually right here. Cheese balls. Ooh, that'll be good in this. Oh my gosh, try the sauce. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my I gosh. I asked when I could try it. Oh, oh try you're it. waiting till after the sugar. Try it. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It, remi- it reminds me of like a really good tomato bisque soup. Oh, tomato bisque. We'd even add, um, you know. Oh, where's the heat from again? Is there any the ramen soup base? Oh, probably. even that little bit gave a little yeah. kick. But we didn't even add any cheese yet, and it's okay. still so rich. Oh, Ooh, that was good. That's really good. All right, so we're okay, oh yeah, so, so we're gonna let's turn down the heat. We're gonna let this cook down. Um, okay, let's air fry some cheese ball because we right. want to eat it with this. And then James also wants to make rice ball, so let's do that right now. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so this for five cheese balls, three hundred sixty degrees Fahrenheit for nine to ten minutes. Okay. I think I'm gonna do like six, and I think that'll be perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Is that six? No, I can't count today. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys in a few. 60 for nine to 10 minutes. Let's do 10. All right, so we're gonna make our rice balls. Two uh, containers of cooked white rice. We got sesame seeds, sesame oil, and then this is that um, seaweed that has like almonds and anchovies. Ooh, I'm still hot. <laughs> That gives it nice, it makes it look pretty, you know? Yeah. You ready to form balls? Yeah. How big? <laughs> uh, you know, like a sweet bread size. <laughs> a human sweet bread size. Okay, and then... The compact- size is not to scale, y'all. Compact it. Keep rolling, rotate, ro- la, ro- la, 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 la. Okay. Right. Oh, sh- I almost dropped my wine! Oh, no! Rice ball sales are gonna increase in Korea. So okay. rotate, squeeze, rotate, squeeze, rotate, squeeze. Maybe I needed more practice with something else first. They're, they kind of look big a little bit, yeah, but no, but they're perfect though. Oh, we just made the rice ball and the cheese ball, mm. a lot of balls, but we still need to make the rose topoki. We can make this a little bit extra decadent, but we still need to add the rice cake in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some cheese now, and then we'll add maybe some later, but yeah. we'll see. We're just using a combo of mozzarella and provolone because that's what we had on hand. When did we use this? Uh, when we made cheesy mussels. Okay, so let the cheese melt in here. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah, you're getting a little like excited. Excited with the stir, so like you can see the sauce creeping up on the edges. All right, so we have our rice cake that we had it soaked in water for oh, a few minutes. Can I pull one real quick? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> they kind of remind me of, uh, I haven't had it in forever, but white asparagus. Oh, interesting. Or like white bamboo. Yeah. Huh. Oh, look at this rice cake. Okay. Oh, the rice. So let, so this is just needs a few minutes to cook. Um, Are these ones going to bloat up more or is this pretty much the size? Because sometimes I see like... Like this one looks pretty smaller in stature, but I've seen ones that look like they're bloated. Oh, like big pillow. Yeah. Oh. Well, they're gonna bloat just a little bit, but we did get the skinnier one today. Okay. Yeah. Let's add our fish cake and our bulgogi yeah. Vienna sausage. So we got fish cake here. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So our fish cake that we um, cut into little cute triangle shapes. <laughs> so dainty. You even did like the really nice crisscross things on it. What's that gonna do? Just, I don't know. I just think it just looks pretty. And oh. then, I don't know. The sauce will get inside them. So when you eat it, like, oh, you, you could taste more of the sauce in here. Well, as James is going to help me, oh, look, there's some melted cheese on this spoon. Um, I'm gonna do a, another taste test of the sauce. I wasn't actually planning on stirring. It was for a taste test. <laughs> mm. Oh, the cheese made it better. It just tastes good. And then I'm low on my wine, so I'm gonna pour myself a glass. You know what would be really good in this? What? Um, 
like pasta, but like lobster. I could imagine <gasps> lobster this, in here. It tastes like. Yes. So, our jumbo udon oh, noodles. Jumbo udon. Jumbo. So we'll use a pack. Um, here, I have the scissors. Oh, you have the scissors. So the great thing with this is you can just dump the noodles right in. You don't have to like cook them first or anything, right? It's gonna cook in here. Yeah, yeah. you don't like. I mean, like, you don't have to boil water to. No, it's already kind of pliable. But if you buy frozen, like mm. completely frozen udon, you probably want to blanch it uh, for like thirty seconds in boiling water first, and rinse it in cold water. But um, this was in the refrigerator section, so it wasn't like hard rock like ice. It wasn't frozen. Oh, okay. um, it's still kind of Ooh. pliable. So hold on. Um, just want to make sure I kind of separate them. So oh, they yeah. don't get clumpy. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and mix that in. Let that kind of cook down in the sauce a little bit. So let's chit chat. What's new with you? You know, life. <laughs> life is new. Well, well, here's the thing. Um, this past Saturday, Mark. Uh, is now considered fully vaccinated. How do you feel? Ooh, um, I don't know. Like, if I think about from a day-to-day -day experience, it feels the same. It feels like you know, um, you know, I'm still wearing a mask outside yeah. when we go to the grocery, you know, grocery stores or restaurants. I'm still wearing a mask. But in terms of like a psychological idea, it's like, oh my god, I'm fully vaccinated, and it's and I've or, and it's past the two week mark. Mm. It gives me a peace of mind. Yeah, and that's giving me some level of comfort that I think feels special. Now you got your second shot. When yeah. is your two weeks? Um, in another. Well, by the time this video comes out, in about six more days. Okay. So, so you're almost there. How, yeah. How would you feel? I mean, it's the same feeling. Like I even talked to like my family and just being able to gather without having that worry. That worry, yeah. Like, I mean, there's still some risk, but obviously with all of us being vaccinated, it's it's much, much lower. So yeah, there's that. And I think there's just, um, even just opening our eyes to what the future may hold in terms of like, okay, maybe we can actually go somewhere travel this year we really miss traveling you know so yeah. okay so to make it look pretty as some um, parse dried parsley now is the hunky uh, uh waiter with the pepper mill gonna come by because i'm waiting for him is there a surprise guest no um do you want to add the cheese balls on here or do you want to eat it off to the side what what do you think would look good i feel like for wow factor people might want them See, maybe here? Placed in here, yeah. Okay. Two, three, four. And what are we doing with the rice ball situation? We're just eating that as we go, right? We could, do you want to add it in here too? I just, I mean, I don't know if it'll look pretty. Like, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic. And then, won't it soak up a lot of, I don't know. Well, there you go, he's going for it. Might as well, right? Oh, these are heavy. <laughs> Okay, maybe just one each like this. <laughs> We're done. It's like slowly simmering and bubbling and everything. It, the cheese, the extra layer of cheese on top looks like it's all pretty much melted. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I don't know, where, do, where are we starting? What's a good starting point? Just like right in the middle? And then whatever your chopstick grabs, like that's what you should I get, I guess. Cake then. I got a fist. I got a little bit of everything. So the udon noodles, fish cake, and a topoki. My word, there's so much cheese. I'm not complaining, y'all. Though, I'm just gonna do the fish cake first. My fish cake just happens to be wrapped around my rice cake. Oh, even perfect. <laughs> Well, how would you describe this flavor? No, I think James, what James said earlier, a really decadent, nice bisque soup. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like a tomato bisque. Oh That's my exactly gosh. what it tastes like. 
We have our leftover king crab uh, leg knuckle meat. We <laughs> <laughs> add some of it here. <laughs> Eat the udon noodles. Mmm. Wow. Oh, those are so good. Wow. I have goosebumps on my knees. It's like a, it's like, what? I think so, if you're an Italian restaurant. Bellissimo. Person, maybe use udon noodles for your <gasps> pasta dish, right? Oh my God, they're so good. Mm. The udon noodle really soaks up the sauce well, huh? Oh my God, this is so good, guys. Mm. Oh, there's tomato here. Forgot about, I forgot about you. There's like all, all these treasure troves. Yeah, I mean, it's healthy. There's tomatoes in here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let the sausage cool. It might squirt in my mouth and it'll be a game over. Ew, look at the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it was oo dripping, oozing. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, I feel like I've been needing a chin guard because just everything keeps Oh, I see. Collecting. It's all the cheese. I still see some on you. On you. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, the way you cut it prevented that. Mmm. It's good with the sausage, huh? Mm. I'm just putting it out there right now. This is just one of those sauces that it doesn't matter what you like dip it in. It'll taste delicious. It's so creamy. It's so decadent. This might be a good Valentine's Day home cooked meal, you know, because mm. rose. It's kind of pretty. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cheese. I'm going for a, a cheese ball, y'all. More cheese. With the fish cake attached. I went duck mine in the sauce. <gasps> what? Come back. I don't even know what. Now we just took this out of the air fryer. Do you think it's a bit hot inside? Just mm. go for it. Just go for it. Mmm. Mmm. We had this before. It's the mochi. It's a mochi one. It's a mochi. I like it. Mmm. Mm. All the cheese is nice and melted inside. Guys, this is so good. Mm. It is confusing. Is this a Korean dish? Is this an Italian dish? Like, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. The cheese ball dipped in the sauce, huh? <laughs> Why are you squeezing me? Oh my god, that's so, that. Oh! Oh? Oh? <laughs> no. Oh. That was so good. <laughs> Guys, like this. Mm. Oh, that's a good bite. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna drink some cool. rosé. <sighs> Those, the Korean people have discovered, I mean like, I'm glad that they made this trending because then I don't think we ha would have had this. Rosé topoki. Mm -mm. Mm. We had cream topoki before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's without the tomato sauce. I think there's something about adding this tomato sauce makes yeah. it taste different, huh? Yeah, for sure. Mm. I'm gonna do the rice ball, but look, I just I just rolled it in the sauce. Rolling, rolling, rolling. H Why is yours like, I don't know, like Brave Girls featuring um, Shakira slash Xena? <laughs> like, why does it sound? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's what it sounds like to me. 
<laughs> but the main singer, she does that Shakira Zena s like, and you're like, she does that. Oh my god, it looks like a meatball. <laughs> It totally does. Guys, I'm sorry. There's just... I cannot get a clean... Mmm. Mmm. That, um... Mmm. It's good. Oh, wow. I really appreciate the nuttiness from the seaweed mixture thingy. With the, oh, it With actually the, has almond and... Oh, that's everything. what it is. Yeah. I like that. Wow. You know what? This works with the cheese ball. It works with the udon. Like, because of the tomato sauce, it works with the noodles, you know? But then because we add the ramen soup base and gochujang, it works with the rice ball. Honestly, this is so good. I feel like we should make this on a live one day so people can see it in real time. Oh my God, it's so good. Now you said, um, this would be a good uh, Valentine's Day uh, dinner. Yeah, why? That might be hard for some other activities later in the evening. All this cheese. Um, that's when you slip in. Slip in what? A lactate pill. Oh. <laughs> Add it to the dish. It probably tastes good in there too. Mm -hmm. Actually, like, you don't really need the rice cake. You just add more udon noodles, it'll still be good, huh? That's what I'm saying. At this point, I mean, add anything to this and it will be delicious. Oh my god. Look, at, I can't even get out of this situation. It's like Spider-Man is in here. Oh, there we go. The, the real tomatoes that we added mm -hmm. just gives it that feeling of freshness that this is not just like from the jar prepackaged that you buy from like you know frozen section or from the jar but that tomato adding the tomato definitely made it feel fresh mm. uh oh we're both done with our wine Oh, just oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did that with such like confidence. I thought you were actually going to do that. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Maybe, is it Valentine's Day today then? Hmm? Let's unbutton another one right here. Okay, girl, you already had enough fun with touching balls all day, so you're good. That's enough for the whole year. <laughs> Fine, I'll go with this then. <laughs> mm. oh. Good call on this. This was not even on my radar when we were like making Yo, this these menu. Korean uh, fried cheese ball. There's a natural sweetness to it to it with the mochi. Um I made a hole, now there's like a bunch of sauce inside. Now, I know we're drinking rosé, but let's say you had it your way and we drank some kind of Korean liqueur. What do you think would pair nicely with this? Soju goes well with everything. Everything? No, probably not soju. Um, ooh. Maybe, um... Bokbunja, which is the Korean mountain wa or wild raspberry mm. wine. Oh. That would be good, actually. 
I can't believe we made this. This is so good. It's really good. I'm glad it's it's not super spicy for me, as you guys can tell. I was just thinking that. I was like, I wonder if it would be better if we added a little bit of cap, um, capsaicin powder. Mm. Potentially. Actually, I don't want to take away from the, you know, what this dish is supposed to be. It has a, it has a kick. It's not, it's not spicy, but it's a good kick. I don't want to take away from that, you know? No. Next time, since we've already had this, I'm sure you can experiment some more. Like, would you change anything about how you made today's dish? Is there anything else you would want to add? Would Spam be good in this? Like, I don't know. Mm. Any vegetables might make an appearance. Broccoli. Broccoli might be good in this, actually. It's like a... Like pasta a fun, dish. It's a pasta dish. I'm thinking it's like a interactive, like, fondue. Like, because everything we're dipping <gasps> really in this. We should do a fondue version. Of this? Rosé fondue. <gasps> yes. And we dip stuff into it and I think, we eat it. I think that would work. Rosé fondue. Um, would you all I watch sign that? up? Where did I sign up? Would you all watch a rosé fondue? Mm. It's like I feel like I got... You know when you eat something really good and you feel like, okay, I've hit the maximum satisfaction I'm going to get out of it? This is like... It keeps peaking as I'm eating. I think, okay, I didn't eat a piece of sausage with the noodles. I just did that. <gasps> I'll do a whole rice ball. I was, I could split it with you. Should we split it in real time? <laughs> That's messy. Rice ball kiss? Rice ball kiss? Should we try that? All right, let's just do it. People say like, I suggest like outlandish things but like Mark will never do it. No, if if we're gonna say it, I'll do it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's hold this underneath us. Oh my god! <gasps> There's nothing for me to grab. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 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 mm. Why is it all on my chin? You didn't put it in your whole mouth. No, you kept pushing it out to me. Where's the napkin around here? Is there no, no, no more napkins on this channel? I'm not... We didn't get napkins? Girl, who am I? Yeah, why you give me this one? This here, crusty here, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still on your chin. I thought that was sweat. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun with this sauce, y'all. <laughs> or whatever we're calling it. Woo! I was kind of scared. I started not being able to breathe because I had a whole <laughs> rice ball thing in my mouth and I couldn't breathe through my nose. It was a Okay, next time if we ever do this, instead of making rice balls, we should make like rice like s s sticks. <laughs> Cylinders. Cylinders. Cylinder ship and then we do it. All right, well, if you enjoyed Ooh. this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out one of our other videos and subscribe if you haven't already. We love you guys. We're gonna just eat this off camera by the bowl, by the, by the pan. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye.